Welcome to design vlog number five. Today we're going to be using a new molding method. Uh, we're changing a few things in the molding process, not a whole lot. We're, we're using that method to see if we can create new piston seals, which are essentially flawless. We're definitely going to try these piston seals out. However, I'm mostly thinking about this so that I can perfect the molding process when we finally get our TPU plastic, which I talked about in yesterday's vlog. So. Stay with me, uh, we'll be talking a little bit about this process and the changes I'm making and you'll get to see probably some results, maybe tomorrow. So on the differences in the molding process, uh, the changes that I'm making, um, number one is I'm not going to dip the foam inside of the glue anymore. This is because I think that the foam was actually uh, melting and it would produce air bubbles since it's just aerated plastic and the air bubbles would then try to escape you the hot glue and ruin my ruin my mold so change this around no longer putting this in there it's also the core the core that i'm going to use between the two seals is like wider in diameter so this is basically so i can get support on the outer outer edges of the mold a little bit better um so this is one of the, this is a product of the mold uh, it has a smoother side than the previous ones did, and that's because I changed the molding fluid. Uh, in this bowl, instead of a cooking oil, is WD-40. WD-40, I've seen used in these molding processes. It's an organic lubricant. Um, you know, it'll eat up. It'll basically displace all the water in there, no bubbles. Uh, it's also a great lubricant. So. I, I'm hoping that this works out a little bit. Um, as far as like the um, actual melting process, I've now incorporated this cap, which holds in a bunch of the heat and lets me do this quicker. So you can put a cap on your on your PVC and have it have it contain a little bit of the heat. So I'm going to go ahead and take this mold out, and I'll show you the result. So here are the two piston seals which I've created that I would call acceptable. Um, this I want to show you the difference between one that's cooled down and one that's that's still kind of warm. So this one is cooled down. I if you can, you can tell how much pressure I'm using to to, convert, to bend this, it, you know it's significant. It becomes pretty stiff and rigid at this point. This one is just barely. You know, off the oven, and it bends nicer, and it's a lot more like a rubber. I want this one to stay more like this one all the way. That's why I'm getting that new material. Uh, I'm not sure that I can really make my molding process perfect. Um, I think that there's difficulties in making sure I have the right the right. Uh, the molding material, the uh, the WD-40 is is better than the cooking oil, but still not perfect. And I think the PVC is a little bit rough, so we're getting hot glue seeping into those little you know rough cracks, and and unfortunately, you know, causing it to stick to it. So um, the edges of this are a little rough, edges of this are a little rough, and we're gonna have to uh, sort of deal with what we what we have. So I'm going to go ahead and make our uh, new large piston, and we'll be back after that. So I, as I told you a little bit before, I made some new piston seals using that molding technique. I showed you them, um, and they're working a lot better than I thought. Uh, I think this is because not only are they better, but I also changed the orientation of them on the piston, and we're getting some really, really, really good results. I'm lifting up 95 pounds on the scale and holding that weight for a long time. Um, it's lifting up a chair full of weights, you know, off the ground and holding it there. I want to show you that instead of trying to t t instead of making you believe through through words. So let's go ahead and take a look at our test. 90. Nine pounds. You can hear some air escaping through this piston. All right, we'll show it again.
think you can see this chair is at, is moving due to the force. This is this is these are good results. Uh, these are um, this is we're showing improvement for sure in this system, and so this is this is very exciting. Yeah, we're pushing it. The reason why it's pushing is because the uh, the piston is slightly off kilter, but we're very close to getting really really perfect results. I. I would be willing to put this on a uh, standing guest, tell somebody, hey, you can use this hydraulic system to lift something. At this point, I'd be willing to do that. We're looking for further improvements. Uh, I want to, I'm going to see, I want to actually test it right now with my body weight. Let's see, let's see what, how much force we can get on this. So here I am sitting on my chair. Let's see if this thing can lift me up. I, I'm not really thinking it can, but. We'll see anyways. I'm gonna point it down so you can see the scale. Hey. Oh my God, 120 pounds on the hydraulic press. Let's see, um, any improvements we can make? I, I really would love to straighten this thing out. If you look at it, it's, it's bent a little. That's unfortunate, that's my fault. Um, but this thing is really performing well. Um, I want to see if I can fix it maybe a little bit. Not really. It would be, I think I could get myself off the ground with this if, if I can get this thing straight. But right at this point, it's, it's kind of just starting to tip the cylinder. And that, that is, that's almost no good for that. Um, I'll keep trying though. I'd really, I'd love to see this thing lift me up today. This, that would be amazing. So I did keep trying with the hydraulic cylinder and I eventually broke it. Um, the seal wasn't very good. The hot glue didn't really hold on the foam. Um, that is probably a rush build. But uh, so tomorrow is really exciting because that's when our TPU rubber is supposed to come in. I really am excited about that. If it doesn't come in, I'm probably just going to. Uh, update my website. I've got a few big changes to do to the doityourselfresource.com in order to make it a little bit more mobile friendly. Um, and also, I want to get my subscribers uh, a way of getting updates. So I'm going to create a mailing list. Um, so yeah, I I'm really excited about tomorrow. Um, I'm also really excited that hot glue can sort of do that. You know, can sort of hold up. It's definitely going to be in the definitely going to be in my, my mind when I release the project, when I actually come up with an official design. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye. More information is offered on my website, thedoityourselfresource.com. As well, feel free to like our Facebook page and watch us live on twitch.tv. Links are in the description. Thank you very much and goodbye.